Hello everybody, my name is Andrew from Brickmeister Z. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the brand's new Lego Ideas A-Frame Cabin Set. This is set number 21338 and it has a total of 2,082 pieces. And this set was released on February 4th, 2023 for $180. But let's take a look at it. Starting off with the minifigures, there are a total of four of them in this set. From left to right, we have this minifigure, which is meant to be the hiker. He does have a cane in his hand, as well as a backpack on the back of his body. Then we have this minifigure with the coat slash jacket. And we have this minifigure with the purse. And we have... This minifigure with the glasses on her face, as well as the sweater design on the front and back of the torso, which are actually prints. Speaking of that, all four of the minifigures have their exclusive torso prints all around. And if you remove their different hair pieces, you can see that they have different facial expressions. Moving on to the build of the set, we have the A-frame cabin build in the middle as well as those trees off to the sides, which represent those side builds. How this works is that you can actually slide out those side builds that are attached to the A-frame cabin just like this, which is actually loose connections with those blue Technic pen uh, axle pieces inside. So more on those side builds later on, but let's take a look at the A-frame cabin building first. Leading up to the front door, we have a scroll next to the stairs, as well as a bucket, and those mushroom builds. And if you remove those 1x6 tiles in dark tan, which are attached to the stairs, you will find a frog underneath. Right behind the stairs, we have the cobblestone design, which uses a bunch of these hammer pieces in light bluish gray. And we also have this butterfly piece off to the side, which had an exclusive print on it. For the design of the ports, we have the rocking chair in the corner, as well as an egg being fried. And we also have this bench that has a coffee cup and a lantern sitting on top. And then we have this build for the birdhouse that is attached to the front of the cabin. And we also have another one of those butterfly pieces with another exclusive print. There are two butterfly pieces that were exclusive to this set, but with different prints. And once you turn the cap in around, you can see a few more details over on the back. The details that they have was the gas tank, a petrol container, a sour with some soap off to the side, some toilet paper or some towels, and we also have the shovel. Plus, I also like the design of the chimney that goes all the way up the cabin. But one thing that I found out when I started building this set is that if you look around this section about right here, there is a small build for the Italian flag that is found on the first few steps of the instruction booklet. And that Easter egg that I'm talking about is a reference to the fan designer named Norton74, who actually designed the original version of the A-Frame Cabin. Next up, we have those roof pieces, which are found on both sides of the A-Frame Cabin. You can actually remove them just like this, and then turn around in order to see the inside. On one side of the bottom level, we have a newspaper sitting on the floor, as well as a desk lamp on top of the drawer, and a typewriter sitting on the desk. For this kitchen section, we have a wind stove right next to the pile of logs, and we also have this build for the sink. Over on the other side, we have these two chair builds, another newspaper sitting on the floor, as well as a magnifying glass in this yellow bin. We also have those minerals on this shelf right here, as well as a record player right here, and we also have this guitar right next to the door. And in front of the door, 
we have this 2x4 tile in dark red, which is a print for the word Lego. Then we have those stairs going up to the next level, and right behind it, there is a yellow bin with some wine and bottles. Plus, there's a candle on this shelf right there, as well as a clock in the corner, which is a round 1x1 one one printed tile. Up on the second level, we have the binoculars sitting on the bed, and right underneath, we have a 2x2 two two printed tile of the map. And then we also have a candle on this dresser build. And once you turn around, you can see that there is another coffee cup piece next to the bed. And if you take off this piece right here. Okay, there you go. Once you take that off, you'll find an acorn under the bed, which is actually a round one by one printed tile that is exclusive to this set. Then we have a camera off to the side as well as another dresser that has a compass and a cup. We also have those books sitting on the shelves, as well as a small build right here that represents the LEGO Ideas Treehouse set from 2019. Oh, right above the bed, we have a 2x3 printed tile of Santa's Cottage, which Norton 74 designed another project that didn't get approved. Plus, we also have a spider that you can find in the attic. The top floor of the A-frame cabin can be removed in order to see the inside easier. Oh, and going back to the bottom level, we have this 2x4 printed tile, which I think that represents an exclusive print that was from the medieval blacksmith Lego idea set. And when you're done looking inside the A-frame cabin, all you have to do is put those roof pieces back on, just like this, in order to close up the cabin entirely. And this set includes two different side builds that has different colored leaves on the trees. This side build has a storage space where you can store logs that are already been chopped down. And right behind the log storage, we have this build for the tree that has those red and orange leaves. And there's also a blue bird up there and another butterfly piece that is attached to the tree. As for the other side build, we have two more trees with different colored leaves. One in yellow and one in green. And there's also a red bird sitting up here. Plus, there's also another butterfly piece and a lantern that is attached to those two different trees. On the ground, you can find an otter and a frog right next to the creek, and there's also a rock piece that is built sideways. And you can also find more mushroom builds and those leaf pieces all over the ground. And once you turn this around, you can find a canoe that is sitting on top of those poles, and right underneath, we have a crate. And inside, we have this water bottle, as well as those life jackets. And right next to the canoe, you can find those two paddle pieces that are sitting inside this barrel right here. Before we wrap up, one thing that I found interesting is that you can connect those two side builds together by using those axle pieces. Just like that in order to create a cool forest scene. And this will be something that will be not be related to the A-frame cabin. And like I said before about those two side builds, those two can actually connect to the A-frame cabin, which are found on both sides. Again, these are just Technic axle pieces that are loosely connected. So place one right here and put the other one right here. And once you've done that, the whole cabin build is connected with those two tree side builds. And there you have it. That is my review of the new LEGO Ideas A-Frame Cabin set. And I hope you enjoyed this set as much as I do. Let me know what you think about this set in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to the Brickmeister Z channel for more LEGO review videos. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.